Thank you, uh, Pastor. Thank you, ladies, for the beautiful special number. So, please open your Bibles. For Acts 23. Uh, we will not read the whole verses for the sake of time. May I uh, request everybody to stand up? We will read verse 1 and 11. We will read at the same time. Are you there? Yeah. Is your Bible King James? Yeah. Read. Begin. And, and Paul earnestly before King Jesus said, Men and brethren, I have been in all good conscience before God until this day. Verse 11. And the night following the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, all, for us thou hast testified of me. Father in heaven, thank you once again this uh, great opportunity to give to all of us. And I pray, oh God, that I know it may be God may thoughts, but my uh, heart, oh God, I'm not a good teacher, I'm a good teacher. But I pray, oh God, that we, we will learn something regarding your words, oh God, this afternoon. Thank you for the reading of your words, all these things. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for uh, for those uh, uh, church members that are here. And uh, we will start our uh, lesson. It was made up, uh, I believe, uh, 30 minutes. So I will not consume that maybe. Uh, as introduction, now you know what happened to uh, uh, Paul, Apostle Paul, no? In spite of this, uh, those uh, discouraging to, to, go, to go to uh, Jerusalem, even the Spirit uh, urged to not go to Jerusalem. And his teammates or some of uh, his uh, uh, companions has uh, uh, what called discouraged to, to, to proceed to his plan to Jerusalem. After this third time, Apostle Paul will go to Jerusalem. And then, uh, uh, still, so that the, 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 uh, the member of the team has already tired to, to, to discourage Paul, but still uh, he want to go to Jerusalem. And uh, because of that, Agabus came down, uh, came down from uh, Judea to give him to give example what will happen to him in Jerusalem. And still, you know, because uh, we know that uh, Paul is a uh, 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 brave. Sabi niya, kung uh, ano mangyari sa akin at magkakaya ko sa Jerusalem, ito ay sa uh, Panginoon. So, at uh, kanyang binigay ng uh, nakarang lesson ng kanyang testimony. So, we will study and the 70 that they stood, the Lord stood with him. The title is, uh, we, will, uh, we know what happened in this, in this uh, uh, topic. I will read introduction. At the close of the chapter 3, we will see Apostle Paul in prison in Jerusalem. In what reason? Because he preached the gospel of God. The chief captain, the Roman soldier, was about to examine Paul and scourge him when Paul reminded him that, we, that he was Roman citizen because of uncertainty about how to handle the matter, Paul was taken to the council of the high priest. You know, the council in, in that time, during the time, it's like, uh, like uh, having a, uh, what was this? Urado, the judge. They can judge, they can punish. The group are two, two, two groups. So Jesus and 
Pharisees. So Apostle Paul, that, that they brought on the council because he is a Roman citizen. He acquired his citizenship in his father, born in Tyrus, but we will not, uh, we will not uh, focus on that. So all the privileges as a citizen gave to Paul. So that's why they put on the council to, to interrogate him. That's one of the privileges of being a Roman citizen. So, uh, number one, you have a hangout. The testimony of Apostle Paul. What is the testimony of Apostle Paul? Last, uh, last, last topic, last Friday. No? After, after uh, encountered by Jesus Christ in the Master, the Masters, no? In that moment, Paul converted. Converted. So because of that, no? His testimony was actually uh, he, went, he is testifying regarding the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's testifying regarding the Lord Jesus Christ. On that, on that, on that uh, council, the middle of the council, Paul faced the council with loose and conscious integrity. What it means? He's not, he's not afraid because his testimony is good in the, in the sight of God. Amen. Like us, if we give our testimony, Regarding our salvation with the grace of God, we need to be true. Amen. Don't exaggerate how we come to God. Make it simply so that the, 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 the unbelievers can understand easily how God uh, uh, save us. So his, his, uh, his testimony even uh, in the front of these judges, the council, uh, I believe in a picture of my mind that, that they are wearing uh, like clothes, like uh, uh, what, what this, like our judges, no? they are wearing blacks and everything. So it's a bit, maybe because of that, if you are in, in the front of them, what Apostle Paul, hindi po siya nag-doubt, hindi po siya nag-wiver sa kanyang testimony. Because Paul explaining what happened to Damascus after the Lord Jesus Christ met him. But this commitment to proclaim the gospel of the Jesus Christ is still there. That is his commitment. That's why number letter eight, a courageous testimony of Paul, a brave testimony of Apostle Paul. Letter B, a confident testimony. Paul said in the first one of our uh, text, and Paul earnestly beholding the council said, men and brethren, Actually, if you are in the front of these uh, judges, you must address them honorable. Honorable, but Paul address them men and brethren. Men and brethren. Apostle said in this uh, verse 1, I have lived in good conscience before God until this day. What's it all about? It's talking about beginning from this conversion until that day, in that present moment, which is uh, in, he is in the middle of these ju uh, judges. His life. No? You forget about soul during this time because uh, if, if you, if you uh, uh, go beyond that, he's not in good. Uh, uh, testimony because it's one of the perse uh, persecuting those Christians during the time. I have lived in good conscience before God until this day. So, having a good conscience means uh, that there was no part in his life which is acted as dishonest and hypocritical man. I, I, I told you for that uh, he, he, he explained himself without exaggerating 
what happened to him. Actually, uh, it happened to him. He was now fully determined to maintain his profession. He was now fully a uh, Christian as he ever maintained the uh, Judaism and to praise of Wentas to the Christian religion. You know how, how uh, Paul uh, uh, committed to that uh, group, to that religion. He killed, he punished those believers because of this wrong belief, wrong doctrine. And then now, because of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, he changed completely his life. Instead of persecuting Christians, now he's sharing the word of God. The confident, uh, 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 confident testimony of Apostle Paul, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's give a uh, big impact to these people. Because they know Apostle Paul before. Actually, some of the, some, uh, some of, uh, the judges of the council is his classmates. So they are masters of law. No? They know everything regarding laws. But Paul, hindi po siya nagdalang isip. Even their uh, relationship, even the, in their classmates, their friendship, ay hindi niya po uh, bigyan ng halaga. If you have Bible in Romans 9, 1 said, I say the truth in Christ, I line up my conscience of bearing you witness in the Holy Ghost. I say the truth in Christ. My conscience, my heart, also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Sometimes it's hard to say that in our life, you know, believers. No? Sometimes I lie, we lie. When we are giving our testimonies, maybe 20% uh, lie. Exaggerated. So that we can, uh, we can uh, attract those people who are listening to us. But the truth is, only, only, only the Holy Spirit can know what our heart. Amen. Conscience also bearing the witness, the Holy Ghost. I say this to you because sometimes I did it. But I ask forgiveness for the Lord because that is sin. And that is a confident testimony of Apostle Paul. Our testimony is uh, it's good in the front of God, in the front of the people. As I say, uh, believers, we should. We should. Because we are the ambassador of Christ. Ano man ang lupa sa ating bibig, ano man ang maging example natin, it's not for us. It's for the Lord Jesus Christ. Once we lie, they cannot blame us. But, we will, we will uh, point that we are a uh, believer. Especially, what, uh, we are telling everybody, we are saying, we believe in God. With the grace of God, we are saying, but if our testimonies are uh, not good, the people will not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, number two, we will not uh, do more time regarding uh, Number two, the testing of the Apostle Paul. The testing of the Apostle Paul. In faith that can be tested, can be trusted. God brings men in deep waters not to drown and not to kill them by one with, with Christ. You know, the, the testing of Apostle Paul is uh, uh, tremendous, you know, it is fake. Because we know that uh, when we, he arrived in Jerusalem, they gladly received him, received him by, the, by the brethren in that place. But 
In fact, there's a, there's a worry in that moment for them. You know? The testing of uh, Apostle Paul in the middle of the judges of the council is tremendous. Because Ananias was there. Ananias is not appointed by God. He's appointed by Roman government to serve the Roman Empire, Roman government. So it's a difficult for him. It is uh, appointed by uh, Herod during uh, 47 AD. And the verse 2, And the high priest Ananias commanded them to stood by him to smite him on the mouth. You know, after he gave his testimony, his uh, Ananias ordered to slap him in the mouth. Maybe because he don't like to hear the testimony again about about his life. He want to hear the, the old life of Apostle Paul, persecuting believers, putting them in prison. But Paul said, he replied, then Paul and then said, Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, the white wall. For see that thou judge be after the law, the commandments to be submitted to the law. Actually, Ananias is ignorant of the law. But Apostle Paul did not retaliate. But he said, God shall smite thee. He still is, is, his his uh, testimony is still uh, controlled by, by, by uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. For God, if it happened to us in our Bible study, maybe uh, if you hit me in the face, I will give you two times. <laughs> yeah, you know. But Paul, uh, he said, God shall smite me. The white wall, you know, white wall, those uh, yellow. That's why, that is why. Behind that wall, behind that paint, there's a dirty uh, wall. You know? This is an Aeneas, the outside is clean, but the inside, it's too, uh, 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 what do you call this? Uh, dead, Satan. With a, uh, uh, wearing a uh, cheap clothes. But inside it's something. You know something? Paul was smitten in the face. No doubt was ended. But his love in the face would have been part of this council in the past. He is part of the council uh, when the uh, stepped on a stone by the actually that is illegal according to the law. You know where we're gonna find John chapter three, uh, John, uh, uh, Pastor John, and I uh, again. Uh, John eighteen verse thirty one. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death, especially those Jews. You know? That's why in he don't know the law. So the, the what you call this, that is a testing of Apostle Paul. Uh, later on, uh, tested by angry priest, this Ananias. Paul refers to him as a white boy. This phrase used that, that uh, I think that is a idiomatic expression in the Hebrews. This phrase uh, is uh, used as a white white and civil code means hypocrites, hypocrisy. So this means this position is covered by code of whitewash. So we should be true in ourselves, in our testimony, whatever it takes. We will stand. We will stand our testimony our salvation, our doctrines. 
in our Bible in James. I remember the time when I using NIV. It's only a short. And I fight for I fight for Brother Dozel. It's meaning very good in mean things. Yeah. And I answer a very uh, uh, different way because that's my belief. And when I found this, 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 those uh, mistakes, and I changed immediately. Amen. I have a King NIV uh, and I throw that. I have a good news, but because that Bible of my mother, so I keep as a remembrance uh, from her. Because I don't have picture of my mother. So this time that uh, the, 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 the testing of Apostle Paul and Spirit in that in this moment. They will be tested by the divided side ring. Divided. You know who, uh, who are they? They are the Jews and Pharisees. So, so Jews, they believe, they have different uh, belief. You know? The Jews did not believe that man would experience resurrection. And Pharisees believed that God would send Jews a Messiah who would bring peace to the world. But both that, uh, that doctrine is opposite, completely opposite to the doctrine of Apostle Paul, the Gospel, the death, the burial, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So what they did? They, uh, they twisted the gospel. They twisted the gospel so that the people will believe them. They can twist the, uh, the gospel, but the, the, the living testimony of Apostle Paul in front of them, they cannot twist it. How oh, they follow the Lord Jesus Christ in his life. The Sadducees denied the body resurrection. The religious governing body of the Jews was hopelessly divided between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Both sides disapproved by Paul's teaching, but he was able to use the division to keep them a preaching and he was verdict against him. So that's not a wisdom from Paul, this is wisdom from God. He used, used that so that they, they, they uh, fight each other because of the different doctrines. And uh, let us see, tested by threatening God. The Jews has still the crowd against the apostle of Paul some days before. And verse uh, 4, uh, said that, uh, crying out, men of Israel help, this is the man that teaches all men everywhere against the people. And the Lord is the place, and brought grief also into the temple, and had polluted the holy place. That's the cry, cry out. They, they accuse uh, Apostle Paul a uh, different, uh, uh, they're teaching a different uh, uh, teaching on the inside the table. That's why Apostle Paul arrested because of that allegation. And they are supposed to fight each other. They are one to do what they want. Like uh, what we watch in the TV. Pagaroon, this is a kasuto, talaga magdits goro, wrestling. During that time, wala mong boxing. So because of that difference uh, of the two groups, Sadducees and the Pharisees, but God used that in that moment. Uh, tested by threatening the God, the threatening, the, the threatening the life of Apostle Paul. Because if uh, that time you will uh, like uh, like a uh, Stephen, you know, is a victim of that. You are not uh, the, the different. Uh, Teaching, he is quite excited. And uh, because of Stephen's death, is uh, also Paul's death also, that they stoned to death this guy, our brother Stephen. Number three, the triumph of Apostle Paul, verse 11. And the night, following the Lord stood by him and said, Paul, to God, Chief, Paul for us that have testified to me in Jerusalem, must thou bear witness of also the Lord. The triumph of Apostle Paul. The greatest victory of Apostle Paul is his testimony. His testimony and his, his conscience is good conscience in the, in the front, in the eyes of God, and in the eyes of the uh, believers. The testimony, our testimony is very important because there are like, like a Bible. No? 
that uh, uh, the, the, our friends, uh, that they are uh, really, uh, reading our stories. One time, uh, uh, going back to the Philippines, uh, we shared the gospel. But uh, they, they, they said that we are all, we, we look like the same. I don't know why, uh, but I mean, I agree with that. No, but you did it well, you did it And uh, that guy is uh, drunk. So I did it in the tracks. And uh, I started doing it. Okay. Then, because uh, his house is very close to the church. I don't know if he's like that. So the, 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 the testimony of uh, the believers of the church is very important to the people. So the greatest trial, but the, the trial of the Apostle Paul is his testimony. And uh, he never got down his faith. He maintained good testimony and good uh, 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 life in front of the people. That's why the result in A, the Lord stood with him. Actually, when, when uh, he applied to go to Jerusalem, the Holy Spirit no, uh, fell to him not, not go to, up to Jerusalem until his brothers, until his uh, companions that they, they, they uh, uh, I don't know si Paul, but Paul is, I insist niya na punta. So after this, because Apostle Paul is uh, uh, maintaining his testimony, our God is Christ. All over the time. That's why the Lord stood with him. We uh, remember that uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, all, all his promises that he will never leave us, not forsake us, whatever he takes. Even uh, especially when we are sharing the word of God. You know, if you are uh, 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 doing the things that not, not, uh, can, uh, cannot uh, honor God, maybe you will not uh, uh, will be with us. So, hindi siya uh, sumama sa atin. And uh, uh, I will read some verses. God is our refuge and strength, very present help in trouble, therefore will not leave you faith, though the earth be removed and through the mountains he carried into the midst of the cross. And Isaiah 41, 14 said, Fear not, thou one Jacob, and ye may not said, I will help thee, said the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And now let me, Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2, But now thus said the Lord, that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by the name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And uh, through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the pride, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame and kindle upon thee. And uh, the last, in the first, I will not leave you for purpose, I will come to you. Always, uh, the Lord uh, gave us uh, assurance, promises that when we are in trouble, God, our God is always with us. Remember that. Remember that. The Lord will not leave us. The Lord will not leave us. If BBC, it will not, uh, uh, hindi ko makapagbibigay ng kalawag yun sa ating Panginoon, siguro matagal na po resort pa ang BBC. We are uh, sending our mission, contribution to the missionaries so that God will protect this, 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 our, our, our church because that is the will of God and this is, that is the, the uh, will of God to all of us. Letter B, to Mahama, the Lord spoke to him. They speak the Lord to Paul in the time by vision, be not afraid, but speak and hold thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. 
for her much people in the city, Acts 18, 19. It is easier to hear the God's still small voice when I have a heavy heart. You know, have you experienced that God spoke to you? Have you experienced that? One day, uh, one Friday, last Friday, I believe, that I sit at that place. Because I, you know why I'm sitting on this area only? Because in this area, there's a mobile signal. <laughs> so if I sit there, I don't have signal. So there's a problem with me. So I sit there, and one guy is sitting on uh, my right side, and I give a program. And I, I don't know why he read his name. I said, I, I took it back again, and I told him, are you this guy? This is Brother Ronaldo from home And then I stopped talking because Brother is preaching. So I never talked to him, I said, this is our pastor. And then what, what, after that, no, and, uh, my, my heart still start trembling. I don't know why. Then I, I'm looking for these people who so are uh, bringing people to upstate or uh, witnessing. <coughs> but I cannot tell anybody. <laughs> so then uh, when the pastor uh, uh, invited uh, for the uh, altar call, I stand. But one small voice comes to my ear. But I, can, I stand one step to go on here. But I cannot again take a step. And some small voice. Bring this guy. Bring this guy. Two times. So I, I, in my mind, Pastor will uh, end it because sabi na noon, pag may room after call, wag kayo lalabas. So again, pinilip ko rumang bang, then sabi na, take this guy, take this guy. Then I took him off. And I shared the word back. You know what, what, the, what the, that, that man, like a robot. You know? Tapotasha, uh, Testimony 
to honor him, to see, to save people by his grace. And thank you to all of uh, us and to all listening. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Mar. Amen. Amen. Very good uh, lesson. Uh, Tinitignan ko itong lesson. It is actually a very powerful reminder uh, about what Christians should be doing. Amen? Amen? If you just listen to the lesson, it's a powerful reminder of a Christian who ought to be in action. Dapat pero tayong ginagawa bilang isang Christian. So what's number one? The, the testimony of the Apostle Paul. It was a Courageous testimony and it was a confident testimony. Look at your notes. Uh, it says here that you know the, his courage and shared his, his testimony, even though he knew many of the council members wanted him dead. Can you imagine people who want you dead? Parang naririmind tule ato sa mga Bible studies in our Bible studies in accommodation. Yes, we need to be discreet, but sometimes when we have you know. Uh, there are people in the room uh, that is not of the same faith like we are. Uh, we become hesitant. Magandang, I think the Lord is talking to us about this. Um, yung courage of uh, witnessing, testifying for, for the Lord. They were very mad. And even the high priest, Ananias. So we learned of several Ananias already in the book of Acts. One you have Ananias in chapter 5, the one who died for you know, for lying. And then you also have Ananias in chapter 9, who uh, whom God commissioned to go and see the Apostle Paul after he got saved and uh, this Ananias. Uh, when Paul shared his testimony, you notice what the, the high priest did? He commanded them that stood by him to smite him. Can you imagine that the high priest? Uh, and what did Paul say? Then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou whited wall. Alam niyo mag ilang ibig sabihin na? You can go to Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 27. The Lord Jesus Christ used the same expression actually. Tignan niyo yan. Matthew 23 verse number 27. Okay, lagay mo dyan. Uh, Remember that the Apostle Paul is talking to the Pharisees here. The same is true with the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at that. War to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye uh, are like unto whited what? Sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's, uh, dead men's bones and of uncleanness. Ganito yung priest. Okay. Outwardly, they are very righteous, but inwardly, you know, they are very, very wicked. So the Apostle Paul says here, For sittest thou to judge me after the law, and commandest me to be smitten, contrary to the law? Kasi hindi mo dapat sinasampal yung Roman citizen. Romanian eh. And so, uh, but what we see here, the courage of the Apostle Paul to share his testimony. Now let me ask you, who among you here, you are saved and you know you are saved? Can you raise your hand? Let me see. Okay. Isn't it true that sometimes we know we should be sharing our faith to our office mates? But how many of us, let's say this previous week, or this previous weeks, or the previous month, have shared our testimony to others? Do they know your testimony? Yung mga kasama niyo sa trabaho, yung kasama niyo sa accommodation, do they know your testimony? Do they know that you're a child of God? Do they know when you got saved, where you got saved, how you got saved? Have they heard it from you? I think this is one thing that is reminding us that if you are really a child of God, God, God wants you, God expects you to at least share your story. Because if you are saved, you have a story to tell. Amen? To share your story to others. Okay? Now what we see, number two is the testing of the Apostle Paul. The Bible says, Ye and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer what? Persecutions. Okay? We will be suffering persecutions. Uh, he was tested by an angry priest who commanded to smite him by an angry mob. 
Who are these? You have the Sadducees and the Pharisees. Kaso matalino din siya, Apostle Paul. When you notice that half of the crowd are Sadducees, you know what Sadducees are? They don't believe in the resurrection. They don't believe in spirits. They don't believe in angels. They believe none of those things. But the Pharisees, they believe those things. And so to spare himself from that impending predicament, he just said he was a Pharisee. He believes in the resurrection. Now the focus was no longer on him. It was already between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Okay. So Paul is sandwiched in between. And so, uh, but God had to rescue him. And during those times, we see the trial of the Apostle Paul. The Lord stood with him. Okay. That's, that's, that's a nice verse. And later on, when we studied Acts chapter 27, when they were in the storm, Paul was taken to Rome. And uh, uh, they, they, they were met with a, a strong typhoon, a storm. It's called Eurypylidon. And everybody was fearful. Everybody was terrified. Everybody thought they would die. But the Apostle Paul stood in their midst and said, fear not. For God stood with me and God spoke to me. Yung sinabi niya rito na, tignan niyo yung verse number 11, ha? Be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear witness also at Rome. So along the Apostle Paul, no matter how strong the Python was, he will reach Rome and be a testimony in Rome. Now you compare that to the experience of the disciples in Mark chapter 4, 35 to 41, when Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. You remember the story? And then there was this storm, the tempest, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full, the Bible says. And then what did they do? They ran to the Lord Jesus Christ and said, they asked the silly question, Lord, carest thou not that we perish? They panicked, but Jesus already said, let us pass over to the other side. See? So makikita natin dito yung, yung triumph ni Apostle Paul because God stood with him and God spoke to him. A wonderful reminder that when we are in danger, God is with us. Amen. Because he promised us in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Matthew 28 verse number 20. When we fulfill the great commission, the Lord Jesus said, And lo, I am with you, what? Always. Always. Even unto the end of the world. Okay? So, always remember this, that um, if God is not done with you, kung may pinapagawa pang Panginoon sa'yo, you are immortal. The Lord said, Fear them not who is able to destroy your body, but have no power over your soul, but fear him who is able to destroy your soul and body in hell. So this is a beautiful reminder that God stood with the Apostle Paul. If you are serving God and you are in trouble, you can always expect God to stand with you and to speak to you. That means we have nothing to fear. Amen? Amen. But if you are vaccinated, then uh, you're on your own. Okay? Uh, you are removing the heads okay, that God has, the Lord has placed around you.